welcome back to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back today with a pick a card reading for you. Um, I just want to take a moment to welcome back my beautiful returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here and thank you so much for your support of me. Thank you to everyone who has dropped comments below all of my readings. Um, you guys are amazing. So thank you so much. I want to congratulate this week's winner of the free tarot reading. Um, and I want to encourage all of you who have um, left a comment to continue leaving your comments um, for your chance to win another reading. I will be or I'm sorry, a free reading. I will be um, announcing a new name next week. So be sure to drop your name in the ring as well by leaving me a comment, subscribing to the channel. If you are new to the channel, I would like to welcome you. Please join us. I do pick a card readings on this channel. So please get cozy, get yourself some snacks, a drink of tea. Um, and we're going to have a little chat because we're all friends when we gather here together. For today's pick a card reading, I felt um, called by spirit to do a pep talk reading. So a message that you need to hear today from your spirit team. And we have three piles to choose from. Pile number one with the green malachite. Pile number two with the red carnelian palm. And pile number three with the blue aragonite. Now whichever pile or piles um, are calling out to you, there may be a message waiting from spirit. I'm going to jump right into pile number one today. Um, and I actually wanted to mention that this week on my Instagram, I do have a chance to win a free mini read from me as well. So if you want to pop over there, the link is below um, for your chance to win a free mini read from me as well. So be sure to head over there if you're interested. But for today's pick a card reading, I'm going to start with pile number one. Again, it's all of, about a pep talk from spirit and a message that you may need to hear today. So pile one, um, pile two, and pile number three. Hello, pile number one. You're drawn to the green malachite stone. Um, and this is your reading, a pep talk from spirit. What do you need to hear right now? Um, your pile actually had two cards that came out while I was shuffling. So you have two cards today. Your first card is the healing card. And then we have the life force energy card. Um, num number 30 and number 34. And whenever I see the number 34, I always think about seven. I always think about struggle and obstacles and determination and powering through. Um, you can see in this beautiful card, there's dolphins flying up. And I always think of joy and happiness and abundance as well with that. Um, I also think of friendships um, as well. So you could be struggling right now. You could be struggling with your health as well with the life force healing energy and the healing card um, or just struggling in general. But these are two really powerful energies to receive first from your spirit team um, at this time. And for this card number 30, it talks about extending the margins of your awareness and revisiting situations that are, are troubling you and look at them from a broader um, perspective and a higher vibration. And the life force energy really speaks about abundance and joy um, and being infused with life force energy. Maybe that's why you were drawn to the green as well. It's about grounding yourself, Gaia energy. So let's put these aside and take a look and see what your spirit team have to say to you today. So a message that you need, a pep talk from your spirit team. We already have the Page of Swords and the Two of Pentacles, and I just heard this too shall pass. So whatever is leaving you feeling really imbalanced, you could be struggling financially. Um, you could just be, you may be even struggling at school. There's a literal message coming through about struggling with schooling or struggling with a lesson that you're going through right now overall. And this lesson could be, could have many hats, could have many faces to it. Um, financial concerns, relationship concerns, education or, or job concerns just not feeling secure in general in some way in your life and your spirit guides want to come forward and say you know this is definitely temporary and the worst is is behind you you've already overcome the worst of it so it's almost over um you're struggling through the very last sort of chapter of the obstacle right now and peace is going to come For some, there is this emphasis on you moving away from something. You could be moving away from a person. Um, you could be just in a very strong period of transition in your life overall. And your determination is going to pay off. If you are struggling in any sort of um, physical way, um, the health scare, if you're going through one, if you're struggling with some sort of physical ailment, again, spirit does see healing for you coming in as well. And this is all being presented as, as a part of the grand scheme of your story. Um, this obstacle does not define you, but it's definitely testing you. And it's definitely um, creating a lot of spiritual strength within you. 
But there, look at these huge themes that are present here. The judgment, the death, the high priest is right in the center of your reading, which means that there's so, so much profound rebirth happening for you in this moment. And your higher self is coming forward saying, I can see the forest through the trees. I can see the finish line for you. Don't be afraid of the steps that you've taken to get yourself into this pickle is what I'm hearing. It's like you feel like you've made perhaps some wrong decisions or you're worried about there's some sort of buyer's remorse that could be hitting you in this moment about um, this chapter of your life overall and the choices that you made to bring yourself into this chapter. But do not be afraid, I hear. Don't be afraid because every choice that you made was the perfect choice for you to make in that moment. The information that you had to make that choice was the right information, was the right choice to make. So if you've walked away from something, don't look backwards. We have to make a mess sometimes before we renovate into something brand new. Think about a kitchen renovation and the mess that you have to make before you come up with this beautiful result. And that's what it feels like it's happening for you is this beautiful result. And your guides are really telling you that this chapter for you, again, is divinely guided. You were meant to make the choices that you made. You were meant to move through this cycle and you will find love again, I just heard. So if you're concerned about love, if you're concerned about rebirth and any sort of arena in your life, but specifically in love they're coming forward with, this is all, this is all purposeful. Everything that you're going through right now, there's an intention to it because they're bringing you forward to something brand new. So don't worry about looking backwards. I keep hearing, don't look back. Don't look down. It's like you're on a tightrope, but don't look down. We have the Knight of Swords. Don't second guess your decisions, Spirit says. Don't second guess your decisions. You're stronger than the thing you're leaving behind. And in some cases, this thing you're leaving behind, again, it could be a relationship. It could be a job. could be just insecurity. could be an attachment to even a physical substance. Don't look back. You were meant to experience that. Um, but you are also meant to learn how to overcome it and learn how to beat it, so to speak, not let it beat you. So again, even if it's a relationship, not letting it beat you. There's very strong Leo energy here, very strong Capricorn energy, very strong water elements as well. But this devil is talking about attachment. It's also talking about the insecurity that you're going through right now regarding that old attachment. But you're in the midst of this healing journey and spirit says you will rise above it you will rise above whatever is holding you back in this moment whatever is making you feel ill at ease you will rise above it and transition into calmer waters but not only that spirit's really speaking about how you're changing right now you're shifting yourself incrementally into something brand new and this is not just about you experiencing more peace but you you're you feeling more peace within yourself and, and you're going to gain so much more clarity over past attachments, past lessons. You're going to have so much more clarity over it as well. Eight of Wands, keep moving forward. I just saw that the um, lovers as well. I just heard leaving on a jet plane. Keep moving forward. Um, especially with the choices that you've made. And I keep hearing that Whitney Houston song, I Will Always Love You. I keep hearing that. You may be walking away from a relationship. Um, and this is um, a collective reading. So I have lots of mess or messages coming in, lots of energies coming in. So if it doesn't resonate with you, you can try a different pile or a different reading. But the Six of Cups is really talking about nostalgia and talking about how that's flooding you right now. You're being flooded with nostalgia. You're being, but it, and, and there is this kind of a guard that's standing over this memory or this person. It's like there's a part of you that that doesn't know if you'll ever be able to completely detach. There's that devil again. And look at these huge themes. You are at, you are at a profound moment of rebirth, a profound moment of release. And you're going to deserve all the abundance that comes in because of everything that you're doing right now. You're going to be inspired to, to further change, I, he I hear. This is just the beginning. New emotional starts 
in one arena is going to mean new emotional beginnings in every arena. If you're starting new and fresh and you have love around the corner, you're also going to feel more inspired to other changes in your life, to make other profound positive change in your life. This is just the beginning. Just the beginning of your story. So just be patient with yourself during this period of frustration or this period of, of, of a lack of ease. I don't want to use the word disease, or but perhaps there is an ailment that you're suffering from, but a lack of dis-ease within your experience right now, it is only temporary. And you're growing impatient with it because you know that the cycle is almost closed and you know you want to hurry it up. It's like seeing the finish line and, and feeling that wave of exhaustion hit us. We have the two of cups and there's the judgment. Um, again, attachment to relationships, so leaving something behind, but you're heading into something so much better, a brand new day waiting for you. So this period of, of vulnerability just means that you're out of that comfort zone and it means you're doing everything right. And your guys just want to applaud you for the choices that you've made and they want to assure you that you're doing everything right. Feeling um, insecure, feeling anxiety doesn't mean that you've made wrong decisions. It just means you're feeling the full weight of, of the grief of what, of what you're leaving. We have here engagement. Today I make the conscious choice to engage with the world in an active way. I'll take a new route and talk to strangers. I will smell flowers and pet dogs and maybe walk around barefoot while I'm not inside a 7-Eleven. Or at the very least, I'll have a day that's slightly more interesting than the average. And at the most, I'll have a startling epiphany to make a friend who will change my life forever. No pressure. And that's really what the Page of Cups talks about is, is new emotional starts that are coming up suddenly out of the blue to shake up this insecurity that you're feeling right now. And this is going to inspire, and so, inspire you in so many different ways as well. They do want you to get into nature. It's time to unleash your inner hippie and step outside of this man-made box. They're really encouraging you to get outside. Again, maybe perhaps that's why you were drawn to the beautiful green stone that you were because it's time to ground yourself. It's time to ground yourself. And even here with the beautiful judgment card, she's out in nature as well. Time to ground yourself to prepare for that next chapter to start taking baby steps towards your growth and things are going to speed up quickly for you into brand new emotional starts. For many of you, that could be brand new relationships coming through as well. A message that you need to t hear today, a pep talk from your spirit team. Don't forget who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are so loved. We have chakra clearing. Archangel Metatron wants you to call upon them to clear upon and clear your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. And that's perhaps, again, why they're, they're sending you outside. <laughs> because we start from the ground up. Or we can start from the ground up when we are clearing our chakras. So if we go outside and we root, root ourselves to mother nature it's a wonderful place for us to start that process of um reconnecting even with the electrons from the earth and into our bodies reconnecting with the grounding forces that can help us to clear out any blockages of attachments that could be holding us back this time advice please for pile number one we have here bring love into the situation and that's what they are promising you as well as part of this beautiful message is that new emotional starts are coming in but your dreams need a practical plan and they're really speaking about focus and i'm really feeling a lot of um virgo energy actually of retreat of going inward so that we can plan our route you know, from this point forward um we can't really make a positive plan from the light of depression or the light of of vulnerability or insecurity and that's why they're asking for us to start that balancing process now to baseline at peace and clarity first and then making a practical plan towards um, our goals our objectives in life um, really setting a self-care regime they're really talking about a self-care regime where we're flooding love into our own heart um, but all of this is just setting a stage because they're really talking about brand new starts happening for you and they're right around the corner the worst is behind you We have here, breathe, slow down and contemplate the tea, violets and ivy tangled around the eaves. Be patient with yourself this time. And we have retreat. Never underestimate, underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. And it brings us right back to your original cards, the healing and the life force energy, because this is a chapter of profound strength that's being forged for you, but we have better days on the way and we have joy right around the corner. 
back of the deck says release and you have your other back of deck being released perhaps releasing a relationship but releasing and lighting lightening the load of the burdens that you're carrying at this time and your guides are right here helping you walking with you in this journey so let's get a charm bowl please for pile number one message you need to hear today we have the Ten of Cups, we have the Five of Cups, and we have the Three of Cups reversed. Now, it can feel when we are in the midst of struggle, in the midst of despair or in upheaval, that we're alone, that we don't have a supportive team around us. And it really brings to light that um, footprints in the sand, old poem with with Jesus walking with you on the sand. And that's what they're showing me right now, is that in our, prof our moments of profound struggle, it's then that our guides rally around us the most. And we don't perhaps see them right on the surface because they're so close to us in that moment. Um, so the despair that you're feeling and feeling like you have no support, they say that they're actually there celebrating this moment because they already see you triumphing, tri triumphing? I don't think that's a word, <laughs> but they already see you victorious over this moment of time. So it was then that I carried you. We have learned, and we started with the Page of Swords, so this is just the period of learning. We have V, R, and O. These could be initials, but I also think of the Hierophant when I see V. We do have the, the screwdriver, and I do think about something very painful that we're going through with the screwdriver, but it is the red-handled screwdriver, so it's about empowerment. Whatever we're going through in this moment is only meant to empower us. We have the Degas Ruin of Dawn, so keeping our head high, following the sun, we have the divine mercy of Jesus. So there could be a Catholicism um, connection here, but also just the, the aspect of like, please have mercy on me because I'm suffering in this moment. We have the knight of wands and he's always in motion. He also represents fire energy. So lighting a fire underneath us and saying yes to change. And we do have the little bottle, the five. I think about the Chanel number five and grief struggle. Um, but you can see it's encrusted with jewels and it's like they're polishing the jewels on your, I'm just, I'm feeling like a heavenly crown. That's what they're talking about. A heavenly crown with jewels. So being rewarded. All right, pile one, that's what I have for you today. I hope that it resonates with you. Um, if it did, please drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. Be sure to check out my other links below for Etsy for personal reading or for Instagram. But I hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number two. You were drawn to the red carnelian palm. And you were drawn to the Shine Your Light card number 44. First of all, I love the number 44. It's a very empowering number. It's filled with strength. I think of St. Michael. I think of doorways and opportunity. And this card is just about um, bringing your gifts, your truth, your light to the surface. I feel like you dim yourself perhaps to make other people more comfortable. And that's just not going to work anymore because you're... you're you're not being true to the most authentic version of yourself and that means that the world is suffering because of it because you're a part of this huge um, light source and you need to keep that light shining so don't dim your light and they're encouraging you to push yourself out of your comfort zone in many ways whether it be with people with your job with your hobbies they're just asking you to be more present with all of your gifts and let other people see your gifts as well so let's see here I'm going to use the Kawhi Tarot for you today. So shine your light for pile number two, please. A message that they need to hear. A pep talk from Spirit. We have the Knight of Wands. You could be a fire sign. Leo Aries Sagittarius. We also have a lot of water energy here with her. She's a, she's a mermaid. But they're also the mermaid I always think about coaxing or like trying to lure you, um, lure you out, lure you out of your shell, out of your comfort zone. And the Knight of Wands is the perfect person to do that because he's the person that says, I'm going for it no matter what. And you can see that it looks like a fox that's riding on the unicorn. And the fox is very shrewd, very intelligent. And so your mind sometimes fights with your, with your creativity. It's like you're so logical, you think about everything that could go wrong if you pushed yourself out of your comfort zone. But the Knight of Wands says you have to go anyway. 
Sometimes your logic is not logic at all. It's your ego trying to keep you complacent. So we have to learn how to discern between those two voices. We have the two of coins and the hanged man. And they are saying too that there's sometimes when you're too careful about things, you're too much of a tire kicker when it comes to opportunity or situations that could, it's like you've missed out on things because you were too afraid to step outside of your comfort zone. And you may think of some of these things and these could be people, these could be jobs, these could be all sorts of opportunities that you didn't um, want to really push yourself or it made you uncomfortable. Maybe you have anxiety, um, but then it caused these moments of despair for you because avoiding the conflict overall meant that you didn't get a chance to to experience the conflict at all. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like that movie Finding Nemo where it's like, well, if he can't do anything, he never gets to do anything. And that's what it feels like. It's like I missed out on so much because I hesitated and I experienced a whole different type of disappointment. It's like if I had just pushed myself, maybe I would have been disappointed with the outcome, but at least I would have known, at least I would have tried. And that's what Spirit's really encouraging us to do, is to learn from those past moments, those past situations where we were hesitant to really shine our light. Um, those moments of hesitations can be used now those lessons can be used now to create change. We have the three of coins because you're building a new foundation. And now you're armored with those old lessons of what hesita hesitating in your life does. If you would just, they're talking about the current and how we're fighting against it. We're swimming, ag we're swimming against the current. And if we just go with the current, it's going to take us to where we're naturally, where we naturally belong. Because they're talking about taking us back to our natural like spawning grounds or something. <laughs> taking us back to the, the people, the places, and the things, the experiences that we're meant to have. If we just stop fighting against everything so much by trying to pretend to be something I'm not. Or trying to be a different version of myself to make another person more comfortable or more friendly with me or more accepting of me. Um, the people who will love you and accept you for who you are are found downstream. We have the Knight of Cups, Pis Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, I love that. And we have the Four of Swords as well. Let's get a different deck here. We have the Ace of Cups. They're saying that when you don't live authentically the way that you're supposed to be or the person that you're supposed to be um, that you're just giving from an empty cup you're giving out all of your energy to other people and you're not meant to be an outsider watching you're meant to live you're meant to experience everything and they also want to have your guides also kind of want to be more included in your experience because they're like we want to be able to show you how good it can get if we stop fighting against the current, we get to show you how good it can get in your experience. We have the Four of Cups. And there are certain things and situations and people, I feel like, in your past that you really go back to and you circle around and you realize that those are benchmarks of opportunity that you did not take and you feel kind of helpless about those cer certain situations. But that's why spirit wants us to take a look at it from a different angle, that it's not helplessness that we have. We're armored with knowledge now. We have something extra that we didn't have before. We have the knowledge of what that feels like to hesitate and then to lose out. And so now we can take that with us and we can take action. We can take that with us into our new foundation. And we have celebration waiting for us at the end of the day. The Three of Cups is celebration. Your guys are already celebrating this new foundation that you're forming. And you're working hard. <laughs> you're with the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. You're working hard and it's going to pay off because they have new opportunity knocking. Opportunities that will mirror opportunities in the past that have left you feeling disappointed in yourself or disappointed in your position in life at this time. And again, this could be very different for different people who are watching. This could be opportunities in career. Um, specifically, there's a very strong career message, but there's also a very strong emotional message and, and relationship message about you're building upon a foundation towards succeeding in your d desires and your dreams and your wishes overall when it comes to the matters of the heart. 
this period of life right now, the Three of Swords, it's, there's a lot of disappointment in the, in the 3D. A lot of helplessness, a lot of, but within these emotions, there's so much education. There's so many epiphanies waiting for us. And once we um, tap into those epiphanies, there's no going back. And there's also a revelation about those past situations, those past opportunities, those past people. Perhaps there's no going back to revisit those things. Um, that those are, those are permanent changes. Those are permanent um, situations that are now over with. But again, we can learn from them and we can move forward with confidence. That we, we grasped the lesson and we can move forward with confidence in that way. Your hard work will pay off. We have relationship harmony. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. You are safe. Archangel Michael is protecting you against lower vibrations and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. And so take heart. The courage. Take heart. Shine your light. Don't be afraid to take a chance. Don't be afraid to step outside of your comfort zone and say something or, or um, shoot your shot when it comes to opportunities in career. Don't be afraid to take action with the Knight of Swords. He takes what he has learned and he goes rushing forward, building upon a new foundation. Now, for someone watching, you could be thinking about taking on an opportunity in the work realm. You could be thinking about... Um, applying for a new position. You could be thinking about an entrepreneurial path. And again, Spirit is saying, shine your light. Shine your light. Don't be afraid. Because the Four of Cups encourages an I can attitude along with the Knight of Wands. Because the Four of Cups says, if you think you can, you will. And you'll stop at nothing. We have positive, oh, we have two. Positive thinking. In the garden of my mind, I water the good thoughts and weed out the bad ones. I throw in forgiveness and empathy seeds by the handful if I want, and I take a lawnmower to that jealousy and resentment patch. I'm a pretty badass mind gardener. We also have power. I am strong. I am grounded. I am powerful. I am like a cross between a dinosaur and a tank, but not a tank that is used for war. I am like a peaceful, loving dino tank who feels so strong it doesn't need to do anything but just be. And that's what they want you to understand is that you are so powerful and you don't even see it. And honestly, I feel like your emotional heart is like your, your powerhouse. Like I feel like we, our heart is the seat of the soul, but your, your emotions, your vulnerability, your empathy is like your secret weapon, but they want you to turn that towards yourself, especially with what you say about yourself, the positive thinking it's about, you can see she's flooding herself with positive things and then, and she will be rewarded. We have here connection. So there's an emphasis here on relationships as well. So this is, we're just starting from the ground up. When we lead from the heart space, we are able to ex to speak more abundance into being. And that abundance is going to take many forms in the forms of relationship, positive opportunities at work, positive opportunities towards growing our own businesses and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Nice, please, for pile number two. We have here bloom and attract more than butterflies. It brings to light that message about flowers and how they're here to just bloom. They're, they just bloom. That's all they're here to do. And Spirit says it's okay for you to do that too. We have transform, rise above any situation and become the best version of yourself. I feel like it's also very important for me to add that um, you don't have to match other people's expectations. If you're the type of person who is um, trying to be the perfect child, the perfect daughter, the perfect friend, the perfect sister, the perfect coworker. Um, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be true to yourself. Serenity, value the quiet days with only the rustling leaves breaking the silence. Spirit also wants you to know that it's okay to rest. If you're the type of person who has to always be in motion to feel valuable, it's like I always have to be producing something or working at something to be valuable, you need to rest. Spirit says you need to rest and you need to value that quiet downtime. Dream. Have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself in a good book. Part of shining your light, truthfully, Spirit says, it's all about redefining self-care and really valuing your needs. I feel like you put your needs at last and shining your light means putting yourself first. Let's get a charm bowl, please. For pile number two, a message you need to hear, a pep talk from Spirit. 
We have the Empress reversed with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. We also have the Six of Pentacles. Now, perhaps with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, there can be an aspect of having divorce or having a divorce or divorces, um, obstructions in the home, or perhaps you've never experienced the relationship of your dreams yet. Maybe you haven't gone into the relationship cycle of commitment yet and you're feeling really insecure about that future, that future prospect. Um, the Six of Pentacles is talking about how things are sort of imbalanced and you're not feeling like you're getting out what you deserve if you're truly the Empress. It's like if we're truly the Empress, then how come the universe isn't showering us with all of these blessings? And that's why they want you to know that we're creating these blessings from the inside out. And that's why they're asking you to keep working on that vulnerable heart space. Keep that heart space open. And they want you to surrender to, to the flow. Because they are also talking about you hesitating or, again, not shining your light brightly enough because of other people's expectations, because of fear. Um, and they also want you to go with the flow. They say you reap what you sow. And they want you to ask yourself what you feel like you deserve. And if the answer isn't 100% abundance, then we need to go back to that reflection period and try again. We have forever. And we have at. I mean, the forever is reversed. It really is mirroring this Ten of Pentacles reverse. So wondering when we're going to find our forever person. We have transformation with the butterfly. We have little children with the fawn. We also have here on um, the get-go, I think, of protection and fire elements. So fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have the Red Cross, but I also think about temperance and that we're finding joy in the journey and there's a patience aspect. But Spirit says we're living this moment. We're not waiting for anything. We're living. And um, if we live with intention, um, if we keep moving forward, being true to ourselves and shining our own light, we're going to be rewarded. We have a wrench in our plans, but it's going to be empowering. We also have here the horse. So we're already in transit. We're already in motion to receive what we want and to receive further opportunities towards growth. All right, Kyle too. That's what I have for you today. I hope that resonates with you. If it did, please drop your comment below for a chance to win a free reading with me. You can check out my links below for Instagram or for Etsy for personal reading. But I hope that you come back here and visit me on another day at the Tarot Cottage. And I hope you have a great day. Hello, pile number three, you were drawn to the blue aragonite stone, or you were drawn to harmonic flight. And this is your reading, a pep talk from spirit, a message that you need to hear right now. Um, this harmonic flight card specifically talks about um, relationships and harmony, relationships and balance. This could be relationships in the workplace. This could be interpersonal relationships, of course. Um, it says what you see in the eyes of another is a reflection of yourself. And this card may be encouraging you to look at the bigger picture of a close relationship. A perceived challenge may be an illusion or a projection. This card may relate to family, teamwork, community, and ways you can harmo harmonize dissonance for deeper growth. The bonds you share give you the power to transmute your fears, put time and awareness into resolving karmic connections, or they will continue to play out. There may also be a life-changing connection on the horizon. So Spirit is letting you know that if you are feeling a disharmony right now in relationships in your life, that they're resolving that or they're working on that in this moment. So let's take a look here and see. A message that Pile 3 needs to hear, a pep talk from Spirit. We have the King of Cups reversed. So sometimes there's this feeling about being kind of in situations where you have been emotionally manipulated or you haven't experienced a harmonious type of love with a, a type of divine masculine energy. And it has nothing to do with um, masculine, male or female. It has everything to do with, with energy. So this doesn't have to be a man that made you feel this way, but it just is feeling like we've never experienced this really strong emotional support system we have the six of swords and even you know with the six of swords you can see there's two people traveling together and when i think of the sixes i think of a collaboration between source or spirit or somebody else and so there's this aspect of waiting for somebody to transition with me into peace it's like who is going to help me to get to that other shore three of cups Spirit is really, really adamant that <laughs> celebration is closer than you think. Um, they are working on this so, so much for you. It's like they're working overtime to harmonize everything that you're feeling. 
the four of coins because they re recognize that you've been through kind of a war you've been through hell for someone you've been through hell in relationships and you deserve a win and you're going to get it you're going to get the win and they want you to know with the vulture energy that this is not going to go to waste everything that you went through they want you to start planning now to plan ahead for more to plan for celebration in fact they're already saying it's time to celebrate now it's time to celebrate now um if you are in disharmony in a relationship if you've had an argument with someone for instance somebody very important to you maybe it's not somebody who's been very emotionally manipulative or maybe they have been but that's kind of a coping mechanism or a fighting mechanism that they've adopted they want you to know that things are going to be resolved if you are worried about relationships um, not coming to you that is going to be resolved as well do not do not fear they're building upon a foundation and everything that you've been through now is going to help you get there you can see the world here is two people dancing together and they're kind of stepping on these little stones that everything that we go through to reach the world is just a, a, a benchmark. It's just a stepping stone to get to success. So start planning for, for abundance because look at all the grapes coming down. I'm thinking of Cleopatra. I'm thinking of, of moving up into the queen position as well. And there's the moon. So don't be afraid because this moment is just temporary. They're already saying that you're going to have success. You're going to be successful when it comes to love, when it comes to harmony in your relationships. And even, again, I'm talking to different people because I have collective energy coming in and out. So if you're in a relationship and it's kind of up in the air, Spirit says it's going to be resolved. It's going to be okay. Um, if you're not in a relationship, that is coming in for you. Even back of my deck is the Two of Cups. You're in transit. You're already in the flight. So they want you to kind of look at the situation from that higher perspective as if you are in this harmonic flight above the situation. We have the star. It can sometimes feel like when we're, when we're in the thick of uncertainty that our positive outcome is very very far away and we that can make us feel even more vulnerable as well i just keep looking at that far distant hill and she's completely naked feeling so vulnerable it's like am i wasting my time did i waste my time in past situations because sometimes we can even get hung up that on that idea of like oh i wasted all those years or i wasted the best years of my life or i wasted this nothing will go to waste when we turn our gaze and energy away from that perspective and into healing and what have I gained from that experience? It's a game changer. We have the Nine of Cups. Because they want you to know that you are transitioning into something so much more abundant. And the Nine of Cups is, is our goals being realized. Our desires being realized. And so if you have the goals towards relationship harmony, it's going to be realized for you. Be patient. And Spirit says we can get so frustrated when we hear that message. But they are saying that we we're responsible for them having to say be patient <laughs> because in their gaze everything happens exactly when it's supposed to and it's the it's the human being in us that says well i want things fast i have fast internet i have fast food i have fast everything i want this fast too um and spirit says well tough tough <laughs> sometimes so the knight of pentacles is slow moving but he's dependable and he gets us where we need to go he will get us to our destination. Um, but the travel and how we take on that trip, it's really the joy is in the journey. We have, tr we have two options when we're on a car ride. We can look out the window, enjoy the scenery, or we can get frustrated, get car sick, try to read along the way, try to, and you know we can just torture ourselves along the way, asking, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Or we can try to make the best out of the transit. Don't compare yourself to other people, your guides say. It's really important for you to realize that you are on an individual journey and there is no one in competition for you. In competition for the harmonious relationship that's waiting for you, there's no one competing for that. And you're very hard on yourself when it comes to that too. I feel like you're hard on yourself when it comes to your physical body sometimes. And you're, you put yourself down and spirit wants you to stop doing that. There is a reason we choose the meat suits that we do. <laughs> and it does so much for you. We have the Four of Swords. And they're not trying to, um, they're not trying to, 
negate the situation you're in right now or how you feel right now that in this in the past again there have been difficult times for you that you've had to heal from in the present you're not experiencing the joy that spirit's talking about right now um but they're also asking you to prepare because they're anointing you for something. As I look up here in the stained glass, you can see there's a there's a character here that's about to crown somebody else. They're being anointed and you're being anointed too with success. So we have the eight of pentacles. We have the chariot and the eight of pentacles was actually a backup deck for pile one, I believe. Um, and so that's very interesting to me. But the chariot is all about movement. The eight of pentacles is about your hard work paying off. All the hard work that you're going to put in now towards optimism, towards abundant mindsets is going to pay off for you in a very, very big way, um, When especially, especially when it comes to new days in love. So again, brand new opportunities for some and for others, relationships that have been um, in disconnect or there have been a lot of arguing and a lot of uncertainty, Spirit does see success coming um, around to you as well. Advice, please. We have gifts from God. We angels are bringing you gifts from your creator. Just open your arms to receive. That's all you have to do with three of cups here. Three of cups is about celebration. They already want you to move into a celebratory mindset because that's how we're going to manifest in physical form the things that we hold in our mind. We also have here passion. It's time to trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and in your career. And it's time to nurture yourself. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. And both activities are important for you right now. And that's why they're really asking you to nurture your self-esteem. When you're speaking to yourself, imagine that you're speaking to the inner child or the inner version of yourself um, with those big little doe eyes looking up at you um, so that you're speaking more kindly. So you're rewriting the script. The internal dialogue. I just saw sanctuary. You're going to find that in your har harmonious relationship. We have personal growth. We have two here. As I move toward greater consciousness, I feel old thoughts and habits fall away. Like training wheels on a bike, they help me get to where I am. But now that I can ride, I don't need those slow and crummy wheels, except when I'm making big bike analogies. And we have love. Love is a many splendid thing. Today I will notice and appreciate at least three of those splendors. Like the fact that puppies make me feel like a parent. Or the splurge of a self-congratulation I feel when I sink a three-point trash basket shot on the first try. Or how about the chills I get when singing along to and then name a song that you know one. Um, so the love energy, you can see two birds are singing together. And I love that too because you were drawn to the harmonic flight. And at the end of the day, they're bringing forward this these this love energy with the two parrots and they're singing it's like speaking your world into being so they really want you to work on your manifestation and speaking your world into being but they also want to assure you that you're you're already in transit back of the deck says don't take it personally if someone starts to speak unkindly to me i'll remember that they've got something going on that has nothing to do with me like maybe they oh, i'm not gonna say this like maybe they just poop their pants yes that's probably it uh this is a, such a silly deck it's the affirmators deck um, but this is really talking about people in the past who perhaps treated us unkindly. Um, they were really communicating a lot about themselves and not anything about you. It's time to move. A rolling stone gathers no moss. And you're in transit, harmonic flight. The Six of Swords is you already collaborating with Source to create the desires of your heart here. So be present. Journey into the garden to escape the two eternities, the past and the future. Because we're creating the future in the now. And it's time to play. Among the grass and wild violets lie undisturbed secrets to uncover. And you guys were drawn to the Three of Cups in the center of your reading too, which is all about joyfulness, all about play and expecting positive things. It says bloom and attract more than butterflies on the back of that deck. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number three. Advice for pile number three. Oops. On the floor, on the floor I have, actually I have two cards on the floor. I didn't even notice that this one, oh, that was your original card just fell on the floor, but the emperor. So, and there is an emphasis on Taurus and divine masculine energy. The tower reversed. We also have the four of cups. 
Now the tower reverse is um, a delay in gratification or a delay in epiphanies. It's like worrying about, about upheaval, worrying about change. And so sometimes it's like we really want change, but it's almost like be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. Um, there's this feeling about feeling helpless of creating change and almost being worried that change will never, ever come. But although it feels like it's slow moving, Spirit says that that the Knight of Pentacles can be very reliable. This person coming forward. Yep, there's the hammer. Persistence. Keep working on it. The stiletto shoe, the divine fe feminine, so that you can look above the situation and see the discernible truth. We have I and R. Oops. And forever. This harmo this harmonious flight towards relationships could mean a very long-standing relationship or a relationship that ends in commitment. We have the lipstick or the lips about attraction. We have angels looking after the situation. We do have a spoon, I think of children, but I also think about being spoon fed information. We, whoops, try to flip it over. We also have bananas, I think of gain, financial gain, uh, you know, um, gain in relationships. And we have opportunity from 1999 is the year. I think of penny and communications. There could be an online, um, aspect to someone watching there could be an online aspect to the relationship coming forward so take that as it resonates all right pile number three that's what i have for you today i hope that it resonates with you if it did drop your comment below for a chance to win a free reading with me you can check out my instagram um, account this week for a, a chance to win an extra mini read as well over there you can check out the link for that down below and my etsy link for personal reading if you feel called to but please come back and visit me on another day at the tarot cottage and i hope you have a great day